The boy will be in terrible danger. He has her eyes. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 mistakes in the backgrounds of movie scenes spotted by the fans. Remember what Bilbo used to say? It's a dangerous business, Frodo. For this list, we'll be looking at errors that audience members caught in the final cut of famous films. Do you have a favorite movie mishap? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, the crushing Candyman moment, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Before we follow Charlie Bucket's trip into a wondrous chocolate factory, this classic movie introduces us to the Candyman. A triple cream custard, Christopher, Dolce Snorter for Oakes, a Sizzler for June Marie, and listen, Wonka's got a new one today. What is it? This is called a scumdedly umptious box. This sweet shop owner shows a lot of passion for his wide selection of goods. Unfortunately, the Candyman was too focused on his big number to worry about one unlucky shopper. Who can take tomorrow, dip it in a dream? Separate the sorrow and collect up all the cream, the Candyman. Right after he starts singing about tomorrow, keep an eye out on the countertop as he lifts it up. The ledge bops one of the waiting children in the chin just before they all head past him. Props to the extra who took the knock and just kept on going. Hopefully, she got a bonus chocolate bar for not drawing attention to the candy man's mistake. Who can take a sunrise, sprinkle it with dew, cover it in chocolate and a miracle or two? The candy man. The candy man can. Number 9. Pirates and Cowboys? Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Pirate movies ruled the box office and open seas when Captain Jack Sparrow first took to the screen in 2003. You are without doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. While the movie openly leaned into fantastical, magical elements, we weren't expecting to see them play with time, too. During the movie's triumphant final scene, Jack Sparrow gets emotional about the Black Pearl before ordering his crew around. On deck, you scabrous dogs! He apparently employed both pirates and at least one cowboy. If you look behind Sparrow's head to the left, you'll spot a man wearing a t-shirt and straw hat. Although it's hard to catch upon a first viewing, you'll never unsee it once you know. Either a crew member stumbled on set, or pirate captain Jack Sparrow's hiring practices were really ahead of the times. Drink up, me hearty Joe Ho. Number 8. Quick change at the starting line, The Fast and the Furious. Long before the franchise was concerned with fighting atop cars or going to outer space, the Fast and Furious movies actually had a lot of racing. Ask any racer, any real racer. It don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. One of the most memorable competitive scenes saw the young Jesse race against the hardcore Tran. Before they started the race, we caught a big continuity mistake. As the competitors start revving up their engines, the camera cuts to Tran in a black button-up shirt. After a quick shot of the ref, he's suddenly wearing a black tank top with no explanation. We somehow doubt Tran did a quick change just to prepare for the race. Honestly, the fantastic narc scene that follows probably distracted people from noticing this wardrobe malfunction. I never knocked on nobody! I never knocked on nobody! Number 7. Early Bullet Holes. Pulp Fiction. During an iconic scene in an apartment, Hitman Jules confronts Brett about backstabbing his boss. To say their conversation doesn't go well would be a bit of an understatement. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger, those who attempt to poison and destroy my brother." In fact, audiences can see bullet holes from the shootout behind Jules and his ally Vincent during the scene.
But there's one tiny problem. These holes can be seen before the gunman who makes them enters the movie's narrative. It's hard to tell whether the cameraman missed this detail, the scenic department got a little too eager, or the editor accidentally used this angle. But regardless of the explanation, we agree with Jules that something extraordinary was going on with those bullet holes. This was divine intervention. You know what divine intervention is? Number 6. A boy sees a surprise coming. North by Northwest. Just a second, you. Stay away from me. Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest is a great spy thriller that still holds up today. One of its best suspenseful scenes takes place in a cafeteria scene. During the sequence, Eve pulls out a gun and surprisingly shoots Cary Grant's Roger Thornhill. Save the phony tears. Just get back. Oh, you little fool. Stay away from me. But there's one character that definitely knew this violent moment was coming. There's a young boy in a blue shirt sitting in the background to Eve's right. Before she pulls the trigger, he plugs up his ears in anticipation of the gunshot. The only in-universe explanation for this moment is that the young boy is a clairvoyant. He should really talk to the phony psychic in Hitchcock's family plot. I can't. You must. Number 5. No sweeping here, Quantum of Solace. Working as a background extra usually means blending into the scene and not drawing any attention to yourself. Hello, Mitchell. Bond. But even performing simple tasks can steal focus depending on how they're done. An extra on Quantum of Solace nearly stole Bond's thunder with one ridiculous act. You don't have to worry about me. I'm not gonna go chasing him. He's not important. When Daniel Craig's 007 is sitting on a motorcycle contemplating his next move, a worker is supposed to be sweeping the ground nearby. However, his broom isn't remotely close to touching the pavement. This hilariously bad sweeping job was unfortunately one of the best parts of the disappointing Quantum of Solace. Can I offer an opinion? I really think you people should find a better place to meet. Number 4. A Car Rolls Into Middle Earth the Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. While the Lord of the Rings trilogy is widely considered as a nearly flawless trio of fantasy films set in a world without modern technology, a few mistakes did slip through the cracks. Confound it all, Samwise Gamgee! Have you been eavesdropping? I have been dropping no eaves, sir, honest. One of the most infamous slip-ups that eagle-eyed fans have pointed out involves a car. If I take one more step, it'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. A modern vehicle was originally seen in the distance as Sam and Frodo talk about being far from home. Since director Peter Jackson caught the flub, he set about erasing it with VFX. But it's still possible to see the smoke the car produced in certain cuts of the movie. We bet Sam and Frodo would have loved to jump into a vehicle so they could return the ring a little faster. It's gone. It's done. Number 3. A Painful Kick – The Last Samurai Imagine that you got dressed up in epic samurai gear for a big and exciting battle shot. You ride against us, and you are the same as they are. I'll look for you on the field. Shortly after the director calls action, the main hero rides in to dismount his battle-ready horse. Just as he dismounts, a horse hits you with a strong kick below the belt. <laughs> The poor actor withstands the brutal hit like nothing happened. Not only does he stay upright, but he gets back in formation instantly. Uh, Mr. Graham. We know that Tom Cruise and Ken Watanabe were supposed to be the big main heroes of this movie, but it's extras like the guy who endured this horse kick who are the true champions. I belong to the warrior in whom the old ways have joined the new. Number 2. Wrong Eye Color – Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 Throughout the Harry Potter films, multiple people tell the boy who lived that his eyes are identical to his mother Lily's. You know, the very first time I saw you, Harry, I recognized you immediately. Not by your scar, by your eyes. They're your mother Lily's. Although the books said they both had green eyes, the young Daniel Radcliffe had trouble with the contacts that would have changed his natural blue irises. Fans let this change slide until the very last film. When we see a flashback to a young Lily, she inexplicably has brown eyes. 
in most stories, this wouldn't be an issue to the plot, but franchise mainstay Severus Snape explicitly compares Harry's eyes to his mother's in a pivotal scene. Look at me. You have your mother's eyes. Did the young Lily have the same eye contact problem as Radcliffe did? Or was this an honest slip up? Either way, diehard fans will never let this eye color fiasco go. After all this time. Always. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. A Stormtrooper Hits the Wrong Target Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope Although most Stormtroopers rock a similar white ensemble, a few of them have stood out as unique throughout the franchise. Look sir, droids! One of the funniest members of this group of soldiers appeared in A New Hope, when a group of stormtroopers enter the chamber previously occupied by our rebel heroes, one of them bumps their head against the top of the door. Take over. See to him. It instantly makes the intimidating soldiers seem more incompetent than their terrible aim would suggest. Instead of trying to cover up this gaffe, George Lucas later drew attention to it with sound effects. Take over. He also had Jango Fett make a similar head bonk in Attack of the Clones. We give a lot of credit to Lucas for having a sense of humor about a stormtrooper mistake. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.